everyone and welcome back to my channel and if this is your first time here then hi my name is Lauren and on my channel we mostly talk about anything luxury but we also discuss lifestyle and beauty so if you're interested in any of these topics please consider subscribing to my channel and we'll get started with the video So in today's video, I'm going to be presenting you the things that I'm loving from Yves Saint Laurent right now. These are going to be handbags, shoes, accessories, small leather goods, and more. So if you're curious to see what my choices are, then please keep on watching. So the first item from this list is going to be a handbag. It is the Yves Saint Laurent 5 cassette handbag in smooth leather, and it retails for $2,400 plus tax. This is a bag that has kind of been on my um, wish list for a long time. What I really like about this handbag is the versatility of it. It definitely seems like it can be worn um, during the day. This would be like a perfect day bag. Say you're like, you know, walking around with your friends in a city, going to brunch, like all of those occasions, going to a mall or whatever. But I feel like it can also be dressed up depending on the outfit that you're wearing. So it's easy to transition this bag from day to night. It also comes in a variety of colors. Um, I feel like there's a lot of beautiful colors to choose from. The one that I would probably pick would be either black to have the classic combination of black and then the gold hardware or white. Um, what I like about the white <laughs> option is that the price is still pretty reasonable and I feel like I wouldn't like to invest, you know, like $10,000 or more in a white handbag because, you know, I, I know myself, um, I'm definitely prone to like spills, stains, stuff like that. So I feel like for a white bag, $2,400 is still pretty reasonable. I love the look also with the gold hardware and the white because it's not completely white, it's this kind of like off-white or cream color. So I really like this bag. I feel like I would need to like try it on in store. I haven't done that quite yet, but looks wise, it's definitely very appealing. Next up, we are going to have a pair of shoes and it's going to be the Cassandra sandals in silk satin and they retail for $875 plus tax. So I actually love wearing sandals in the summertime. If you've been subscribed to my channel for a while, you know by now that I am super tall. I'm 5'11 or 180 centimeters. So I never wear heels. Like I don't even own a single pair of heels. So sandals and flats are definitely my go-to in the summertime, probably more so sandals than flats. So I'm always kind of like on the lookout for a nice pair of sandals. Um, they seem to be pretty comfortable. I have actually tried them on in the store once. Um, I mean, obviously, you know, you try them on, you don't keep them on for like <laughs> 10 hours, that makes sense. Um, but from my, I could tell they seem pretty comfortable. I love the look of them. I feel like they look so elegant. And again, it's the kind of very versatile item that can easily be transitioned. Um, I mean, while I wouldn't necessarily wear that on like a night out to like a nice fancy restaurant, I feel like then I would prefer to have a closed shoe, like a ballet flat or something. I would definitely see myself wearing this to like, a, you know, like a lounge bar or like some kind of like terrace or whatever, like outside patio situation. Um, if you're like enjoying, you know, a drink in the afternoon with your friends, that would be really, really nice, even if it's a fancy place, as long as it's like during the day or outside. Um, so for me, this is the kind of thing that I could wear at a pool, um, just as much as I could wear it, you know, outside, like a nice restaurant, whatever. So I like that a lot about these shoes. I feel like they're comfortable. The look of them is really nice. They also come, um, I think I've tried them on in black. Um, I would probably pick them in black. I mean, while I feel now comfortable uh, wearing a white handbag, I wouldn't necessarily feel super duper comfortable getting a white pair of sandals. Um, actually, that's not completely true. I already have a white pair of sandals. I just remembered. Um, it's the Hermes orange sandals. I have them in white, but here's the thing. I have never worn them. Uh, and probably for a good reason, because white sandals in general, not a great idea. So for the Isandre Home ones, I would pick them in black. Again, the combination of black with the gold hardware. Very classic, works with about everything. Um, you, know, you can wear that with like a pair of pants, just as well as you could be wearing that with like a skirt or a dress. I feel like it's so easy to, 
you know, pair with about anything, with any color um, scheme that you may be wearing as well. So price-wise, we're a little bit um, over what I would like to give for a pair of sandals, especially from Yves Saint Laurent. I feel like one of the good things about this brand is that their prices are pretty reasonable. But it's like 875 for a pair of sandals. This kind of resembles the prices of like Dior or even maybe Chanel. So for me, I'm like, mm, price wise, not so appealing. My next item is going to be a pair of gloves and they're called the Cassandre Short Gloves in lambskin and cashmere and they retail for $850 plus tax. So I'm actually more or less in need of a pair of gloves in the sense that I did have a pair of gloves for a really long time, um, which were Burberry gloves in burgundy. Um, if I find a picture somewhere, I will try to include one. But basically they are pretty worn out. So I mean, while I still have them, they no longer look like super, you know, nice. They no longer look like very, very classy because they are worn out. So. I would like to find another pair, but um, again, the price here is like what stops me from getting them immediately. $850 for a pair of gloves is a lot of money, especially from Yves Saint Laurent. Like, I feel like, I don't know if it's just me or if you agree with me, but they have raised their prices, especially for these small items, because I feel like bags are still reasonably priced, like, you know, 2000 or or so around that price range still feels right for a handbag, but then for the small like leather goods or small accessories or whatnot, poof, I feel like the prices are not what they used to be at all. Um, I mean, that being said, I feel like the gloves look very elegant. Um, so what I'm looking for in a pair of gloves is definitely short gloves. Um, I couldn't really see myself with the long ones. I feel like they would be really impractical. So short gloves, um, something that's made out of like leather or um, similar material that's still warm. So the cashmere lining inside is really nice. Um, and then something like a classic color. Um, so I had the Barbier ones in burgundy and that was nice. Um, these ones I would probably get in black um, because of the little uh, Yves Saint Laurent logo that's in gold hardware. So again, the combination of like black and then gold hardware, I feel like looks really nice. Um, so they seem really cool, but the price is definitely not what I was expecting. I was in shock, honestly, when I saw the price tag. I was, I was expecting maybe like 500, 600, but like 850, so plus tax, so we're at like 900 for a pair of gloves. It's, it's a little hard to stomach for me. Next up on my list, we have another handbag. This time it's the Lou bag in quilted suede in color taupe and it retails for $1,690 plus tax. So I feel like this price is extremely reasonable and I mean it's like no less than like twice the amount that you would be paying for gloves. So if you're looking at like gloves versus a handbag, I'm so like confused about their prices honestly like it's not at all what I was expecting. So anyway, let's come back to our handbag, $1,690. This is extremely reasonable for a handbag. And one of the things that I really appreciate about the handbag is the suede. So I've actually never had a suede handbag. Um, it's not something that's part of my bag collection. By the way, if you're interested in seeing the roughly speaking current state of my bag collection, then I will leave the link to the video in the little information link over here for you to see it. Um, so I have a variety of different textures, you know, I have denim bags, I have like obviously leather, lambskin, um, stuff like that, but I definitely do not have um, a suede handbag and I would like to incorporate that in my collection. So paying $1,690 seems pretty appealing because if the bag doesn't work for me or if I end up not liking the suede or if it's not durable or whatever, if there's wear and tear that's pretty heavy. Um, it's not the end of the world because the price is reasonable. So that's an awesome thing. If you want to try like a new texture or a new material of a handbag, um, I would definitely recommend not investing like 10K, um, at least without having done like a lot of research beforehand. So, you know, 1600, I'm very comfortable with that. It is a crossbody bag, which is really convenient. Um, it looks like the strap is adjustable, so that's a big thing for me. When you're tall, it's really hard to find bags that are like crossbody that work for you <laughs> because it seems like, you know, what works for most people is not gonna work for me. So the strap really needs to be adjustable. Um, if it's not, it's like one out of 10 chances that it's gonna work for me. Like maybe, you know, the Chanel Mini. 
um, <laughs> rectangular. That actually works for me, but then it doesn't work for other people. So yeah, again, super weird. But yeah, so it's a crossbody bag. The strap is adjustable. Um, I like the fact that it comes in different colors. Um, this like color is dope. It's kind of like an in-between of like beige, it's an in-between of gray. Um, there's like cold undertones to it, which is nice because obviously for a suede handbag, it's not going to be something that you're gonna be wearing in the summertime um, or even in the springtime. So it's definitely more of a fall slash winter handbag. Um, so I definitely like the more, you know, colder undertones to the color of the bag. So also because it's a seasonal bag, I wouldn't necessarily be paying like, you know, $10,000. Says the girl who has like a Chanel seasonal handbag like right behind her, which is like baby blue, obviously only a summer handbag. But now I feel like I'm trying to kind of, you know, move away from these like very seasonal handbags, at least the expensive ones, and kind of focus on like more of like a um, four seasons or three seasons or two seasons if it's reasonably priced. And lastly, or last item on this list is going to be a candle. It's called the 37 Rue de Bellechasse candle and it retails for $72 plus tax. So this is actually not a candle that I have um, smelled in the store or anything like that. So I would definitely need to smell it beforehand. Um, I believe the notes are oud and elami. Um, so it seems pretty nice. It seems like, you know, it would fit what I would expect from a candle or what I would like. But obviously I'd need to smell it beforehand. Um, now to be completely frank with you, I feel like I would be more um, interested in getting it. Not so much to like really burn it or not so much for the smell, but definitely more for the aesthetic. Um, so I got my first house last year and I'm about done with like renovations, at least inside. Now I'm like moving on to like the deck um, and stuff. But yeah, so the inside is pretty done. So I've been trying to focus on, you know, decorating it. Um, I have like the big pieces of furniture that are there. So now it's more about the small touches. Um, and I feel like this kind of candle, especially with, you know, the black packaging um, and then the letters, the Saint Laurent logo, it looks really, really beautiful, very aesthetic. Also a little bit different um, from the candles that you would expect. I feel like, you know, you see a lot of like diptych candles, a lot of um, uh, Jo Malone candles. These are like the to be expected candles, um, but this seems a bit different. So I would like to try something like that. Um, I also did list, I think, on my luxury wish list for this year. Um, by the way, if you haven't seen that video yet, then I will go ahead and leave the link to it in the little information link over here for you to see it. Um, I included in that list a Maison Margiela um, candle um, and like a, the home diffuser as well. So I'm interested in, you know, trying new um, scents, new perfumes, candles, home diffusers, scents for the house. Um, now that I've gotten it and that it's finally, finally ready to be decorated, I'm excited. So that's it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope the video was informational and beneficial for you in case you were looking um, for inspiration, in case you were looking for present to either give or receive. Um, I feel like in general, Yves Saint Laurent has amazing qualities, so you can more or less never really go wrong um, with their items. I was quite shocked um, at the prices for like the smaller items, but I still feel like it's an amazing value, especially for the handbags. So if you did enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next one. Mm -hmm.